So we're going to do the Zodiac sign Sagittarius. This could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to. Someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy. Past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. What do we have for Sagittarius? So you have sudden wealth. And then despair. So somebody is in regret about somebody receiving some type of sudden wealth. Maybe they, you know, they're embarrassed. They could be ashamed. This person could be feeling, um, they could be suffering. They could be in grief. So yeah, somebody is definitely like going through some type of sorrow. Imprisonment is here. That person could be in jail. Or they feel trapped in some type of situation. Privileged lady. An official person in the reverse. Wow. So this person got trapped by whoever this person is. Whoever this privileged lady is, this is someone that um like caught up, got somebody caught up in something or trapped somebody in something and they're in regret. They could have looked at this privileged lady or you know, looked at this person as someone. That was like financially stable. This person was someone that was about their business. Very money oriented. And they were expecting to gain some type of sudden wealth. Being attached to that person. Whoever this person is was someone that is just like, you know, they weren't someone that was real. This was like a facade that they were, you know, hiding behind or walking in. And they came off as if they were this privileged lady. Yeah. Because a lot of people could have, you know, looked at that person a certain way. They could have respected that person for whatever it is that they do. Um, That person could be someone that is very materialistic. So they had a lot of material things. And somebody mistook, you know, mis made a mistake or something like that. And they're like under judgment. Judication is here. Somebody is concerned, message of concern. It's like they got caught up in something, being attached to whoever this person is. Whoever that person is could be someone that steals. And something about that person is not what it seems. Yeah, I'm so done. Five of Pentacles. So that person come off as if they're a privileged lady. Maybe they wanted to trap that person because they wanted to be privileged. But in reality, this person is someone that's a five of pentacles. Like they're going through poverty. This person is financially like broke. They're spiritually broken. And they could have lost a lot attaching themselves to this five of pentacles, this poverty energy. It's like somebody really wanted to trap somebody because they wanted to be seen as a privileged lady. And now you have two people under judgment. But one of these people are concerned. Because they lost a lot. Like somebody is literally going through some type of financial hardship. Great fortune. And then you have thief. Yeah, somebody was out to steal someone's like destiny, um, their great fortune, their life purpose. And it's like they could have thought that they were going to steal from someone that was privileged. Like this could be you, this privileged lady. So they figure if they can do something to try to have you feeling stuck or trapped, you wouldn't be able to walk in this great fortune energy. You would be seen as someone that wasn't an official person. And it's like they're under judgment. They're concerned about going through poverty. 
or not having anything. Because it's like somebody wanted this so bad. They were willing to try to trap somebody. To have great fortune. Wow. This is sad. You have thoughts and then mature man. So this mature man is thinking about all of this. They could be thinking about um something that was stolen from them. Yeah. Toil and labor and courtship. So this person is thinking hard about getting in a relationship with someone and working with someone else. It's like they want to date someone. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, work with you. They want to date you. Yeah, this person holds you in high honor. This person look at you as someone who have went through a lot. And it's like you're having sudden wealth. And it's like whoever that person is that was, you know, out to steal something, they're in despair. It's like somebody planned something too quick and they didn't, you know, think, you know, think of any outcome of what the outcome would be. Somebody just knew that they had somebody trapped or they did something, you know, fraudulent with this theft being here to try to steal something. And now they're concerned because they're under judgment. Somebody know that this is their karma, this poverty energy, losing a lot financially for whatever they did to gain great fortune. Yeah, five of swords. Somebody was definitely trying to win at all costs. Like they were determined to try to sabotage someone. And somebody defeated their self. It's like they self-sabotaged. This person was envious and jealous of um, someone else's great fortune, their success. Yeah, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Wow. They have the Empress in the reverse. So somebody definitely is, um, you know, they realize that this person is someone that is very um, codependent to others. This person is someone that is selfish. They don't want to work. They think they look at at people as people that are pawns. You know, that person can do this for me. That person can do that for me. Different things like that. Like they are, they don't depend on taking care of their self. This person is very controlling. They know how to use people over um, emotional, emotionally manipulate people. And it doesn't matter who it is. If this person is a parent, they're just unorganized. They're not stable. Wow. Yeah, then judgment is here. And Queen of Wands. And Temperance. So yeah, somebody was under judgment and they did not know. Like once this person made a decision to do something to try to have somebody trapped and they were determined, they didn't know they were being judged then. And it's like whoever the person is that they thought they were going to steal from or take something from, this person is in this Queen of Wands temperance energy. It's like that person is very, they have a lot of control over their self. This person is very intuitive. They use their own intuition. They walk in their own energy. They wanted that person to feel trapped so they could drain that person's energy. But it didn't work. This person is in this. They're too grounded. They're too balanced out. This is someone that's very strong. Yeah, four cups is here. And they're unhappy about that. They don't like that this person is balanced out. Because the plan was to have somebody stuck where they could just drain off of them. 
Wow. Yep, Ten of Wands in the reverse. They're unhappy because they, it's like whatever load that they wanted someone to carry, they wanted someone to work, have to work extra hard for whatever it is that's destined for them. <laughs> I'm so dead. And it didn't work. Ten of Wands in the reverse. It's like they wanted to have this person burdened and weighed down. You know, going through a lot of obstacles, going through a lot of stress. Stuff just threw in their face that they don't expect to deal with. This energy got mirrored back to whoever this poverty per this person that's in poverty. Yeah, whoever that is, this is somebody that's the devil. They're toxic. Somebody was literally attached to a karmic, like a toxic karmic relationship, friendship. This could have been a family member. But this is someone that um, they were only attached to through different addictions, bad habits, codependency, um, living in, you know, the material world, you know, just focusing on material gain. And they weren't trying to work on their self spiritually. This is someone that is spiritually broke. Six of Wands. Ten of Wands in the reverse, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, it's like you're in this Six of Wands energy. The tactics would try to slow you down. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It didn't work. These delays. Ten of Swords in the reverse. This person could not cause some type of, like they wanted you to hit rock bottom and that didn't work. So all of that energy is just going right back to that person. Returning to sender. Yeah, somebody was doing a lot of stuff to their self and they didn't realize it. They thought they were projecting this energy off onto someone else because they thought they was going to steal someone's destiny and their purpose. This is somebody that's just some this person could be mentally unstable. Five of swords. Like they need professional help. King of swords. I mean, king of wands. And then Six of Pentacles. Whoever this King of Wands is, this person that wants to balance something out. They want to give someone something. Nine of Wands. This person is nervous about something. Maybe this is something that this King of Wands did. And they're in regret. Five of Cups is here. So they want to give to someone, but they did something that they're in regret about. So they're in this Nine of Wands energy, like nervous. This could be someone that wants to come towards you. You know, they're nervous. This person could be in regret for not believing something or not seeing something. Um, they could be in regret for losing something. Ten of Pentacles. This person could have lost a lot. Like they could have literally lost a lot with whoever this person is. As that person is in this poverty energy and they were trying to keep that person stuck, they manifested that for that person. Because they were keeping their self attached to whoever that poverty is. That person has a financial curse on them. That person would do anything to steal from people, you know, to gain material things. As they don't have anything spiritually. I'm so done. Yeah, the moon in the reverse. And then the world is here. So whoever this person is, they're releasing whatever fear that they have. Um, an illusion was placed over that person to keep them stuck. Now a cycle is ending out. Whatever secrets that this, you know, person had hidden, as they were trying to make it seem like they were someone that they weren't, it came out. Yeah, somebody's definitely on the chariot. It's like they're leaving something behind or they left the situation behind. 
Seven of Pentacles. And Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has been holding back from whoever this energy is for a long time. Because they're looking back on everything that they invested in. And it's like they, they possibly in this Four of Pentacles energy, they don't have anything to show for whatever they invested in. So they're like penny pinching, trying to hold on to everything that they got. This is sad. The hermit, they could be spending a lot of time alone. Maybe they didn't want you to know this. This could be why this person is guarded. They're in regret for something that they did. And they ended up getting scammed by somebody. And they've just been keeping their self in hermit mode, like holding back. You know, uh, they were dealing with some type of insecurity. This is how they, you know, attracted that person. They weren't walking in their own energy. Like they didn't have any confidence or control over their self. Page of Wands. And then four swords in the reverse. So yeah, this person is coming up out of whatever this four swords energy is. Um, it could have been in solitude, just resting, recovering from whatever this loss was. Um, and now it's like they want to communicate or say something to you. Knight of Wands. And then the emperor. So yeah, this is somebody who's definitely ready to like go on some type of new venture. It's like they needed to rest up or, you know, cleanse their self, heal their self, restore, recharge their energy, rehabilitate their self. Now they're very passionate about um, going towards something. But this could be just coming towards you. Yeah, two of cups. They're passionate about partnering up with you, working with you. Because if this was a relationship, this person went through a lot. You have the nine of wands being here. It's like they went through something over and over and over again. And they could have been left wounded. And they needed to, you know, recover from whatever it is that they went through. But they were literally under judgment for attaching their self to this person. Knight of Cups. Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody is mad because someone is following their heart. This could also mean that this person is taking action towards something very quick, like... Um, it's two of cups energy following their heart. Seven of swords and then eight of wands. Yeah, this it's like somebody is pissed off. They're trying to figure out how can they lie. Like the seven of swords is a definitely somebody that's causing some type of trickery. But this is also like a liar. They feel like they can lie about something, get away with it. So somebody that's you know, pissed off. They're trying to figure out how could they communicate something or lie about something. Cause some type of deception quick. Yeah, the lovers. This is a lot. And then two of cups is here again. Yeah, so this is like somebody knew this could be definitely like a twin flame connection. Somebody knew that they were attached to a twin. 
but they thought that they were going to walk in the other person's destiny that the person's twin that they were trying to keep track. They figured that they would be able to, you know, gain some type of great fortune or sudden wealth. Yeah, it didn't work. And they're upset. Another person, it's like another situation is this person is trying to um, strategize on how can they communicate with you or say something to you. The moon and knight of wands. Like maybe this person does not want you to know how they feel about you. Three of swords. And then page of wands. Then you have the Emperor and Four of Pentacles. Like something, something other than this situation could have happened to whoever that person is. And they've just been holding back. They're heartbroken. They could have, like they could be suffering about something. Like going through some type of depression or emotional pain. They're hurt about something. The hair font and then the world. Three of Cups. I'm so done. This could also be some type of, you know, this is like, this negativity. This this is this could be a, a friendship or a group of friends or something like that that's trying to control this person. But it's like, it's ending. If these are things that took place in the past, you know, these are very immature people. And they were trying to hide this. Maybe this is somebody that was attracted to someone else's twin. And they were friends with that person, but they didn't want that person to know. Knight of Wands and then the Moon. Then you have the Three of Cups. This is somebody that possibly wanted to have like a three-way relationship with you and your twin or something like that. And it just didn't work. And they were trying to control that person. This is sad. Yeah, the chariot in the reverse. Somebody needed to take control of their self. Because this was lack of control. Somebody was being very careless. And they ended up getting trapped. Now it's like they're in this, this negative, negative thought mindset. Just thinking negative about something. Six of Wands. And then High Priestess. They feel stuck because you could be in this energy where you're attracting a lot of attention. You're making some type of progress. But you're also this High Priestess. You could have knew some hidden knowledge about something. You could have expressed that. You could have said something. And that person did not believe you. Like somebody did something with, without even thinking. And they're trying to keep this hidden. Seven of Wands. And then King of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Yeah, it's like they trying to... This person was creating a lot of blockages. They, they Somebody is definitely losing whatever control that they thought they had. It's backfiring. Somebody was trying to hide some type of secrets. 
something that you could have knew the truth about and they didn't want it to come out. So say if this person is someone that, you know, made it seem like they slept with you. Night of Wands, the moon. To try to confuse that person. It's like this person have been watching you. So it's like whatever they were said or whatever they were trying to, you know, make that person believe, it backfired. They immediately like got caught and they didn't know. This could have been a friend of theirs. Yeah, this person, I'm so done. Yeah, this person is one of my head nervous. <laughs> They're stuck in guilt. Nine of Wands is here. This person was in fear of being left behind, so they thought they were going to use you. But this person was secretly in this energy of trying to manifest you, uh, you know, in a lustful way, and that didn't work. It's like maybe this is someone that is interested in whoever their friends are interested in. This person is someone that has low self-esteem. You know, they're not accustomed to attracting anyone on their own so they're you know attracted to other people they could be accustomed to having three-way relationships there's people sleeping with the same people now they're sitting back in this nine ones like in guilt they're nervous because they it's like they expose their self or trap their self with some type of lie i'm so done yeah three of wands is here and ace of swords Whatever decision that this person made, it's like it, it caused the truth to come out. They were that desperate and in fear of being left behind because they're dealing with some type of abandonment issue. So they thought they were going to project that onto you by spreading lies and it backfired immediately. And they're stuck in that same, you know, energy that they wanted you to be in or that person. It's like they wanted that person to think negative. This is sad. King of Swords. And then the Star card is here. This definitely called. If they had any love for this person, this person is someone who made a head over heart decision. They went over what they knew was true after gaining clarity. And they realized they needed to heal. Yeah, somebody definitely needed to... Um, it's like they woke up spiritually. Page of Cups, and they want to apologize for something. And then Four of Cups. Maybe this person feel like you're going to reject whatever apology that they want. Like whatever emotion or whatever they want to say to you. Um, whatever conversation that they want. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation or just a simple apology. They feel like you're going to reject them. Knight of Cups. So this is what's slowing this person down. It's like they're trying to keep their self distracted or something like that. Because they're in fear of being rejected by you. The Sun card is here. And then Ace of Pentacles. This is someone that needs to think positive about something. So they would be able to manifest, you know, this abundance, have some type of prosperity to start a new venture. It's like they're trying to keep their self productive. But they're definitely disappointed in their self and they're afraid of being rejected. You have the devil. And then page of pentacles. Yeah, the, this person, they became obsessed over you. It's like the desire that they have for you, them watching you or something like that, they became obsessed. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. Nine of Swords and Ten of Cups. I'm so done. And this could be like, this person family could be, they could be in a toxic karmic family dynamic. Like, you know, attached to people that are under generational curses. Somebody needed to break a generational curse up off of them because they hadn't been going through this cycle for a long time and they needed to find out the truth so they can get more discipline. But it's like a lot of people 
that this person is attached to, they're stressed out. They could be stressed out as they're seeing you desire, like whatever they were desiring to have, they're watching you in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Yeah, they can't sleep at night. These are people that could be obsessed with just sitting back, focusing on you, wondering, you know, focusing on whatever it is that you're doing. And they don't, they don't realize this is why you're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. They weren't putting energy and time into focusing on their self, working on their self, healing their self, getting out of whatever this devil energy is. They were obsessed with just focusing on you. Now they're stressed out. The hermit and seven of clubs. They thought you were in hermit mode. Yeah, you were confused. You were in some type of illusion. <laughs> so this is sad. You know, this is sad that people would, you know, do something like that. And they could have been laughing about it. You know, just how I laughed. But it's like the, the plan to, you know, have you and this nine of swords energy stressed out. People looking at you crazy. People looking at you like as if you need mental help. This is how people are seeing those people. They took this hermit mode for confusion. They were confused. You're someone that has inner guidance. You're someone that is um, very independent. Like you do a lot by yourself. You don't need anyone. And you're very wise. And the reason why the Seven of Cups is here, these people don't even know you. These people are confused. <laughs> so, this is like judging a book by its cover. Wow. Now they're stressed out. Yeah, by everything that took place in the past. Six of Cups. This is sad. Six of Pentacles. And then the Will of Fortune. Yeah. They definitely thought that you were in some type of illusion. Because you're someone that's a hermit. You protect your energy. You're very smart. And you're someone that listens to your intuition. You don't need anyone's advice. You don't need to be around people to, you know, allow people to drain you. Because that's all it would be. You're your own person. These are people that could be accustomed to just being around people. They have to talk to this person every day. They have to, you know, meet up with that person every day. They were confused as to how are you, why are you in this hermit energy? You've always been this hermit. These are people that don't know you. This is why they got confused. Yeah. Now somebody wants to reunite with you. They definitely want to balance something out. This person feel like it was destined for whatever it is that took place to take place. Inevitable fate. 